So do you know what happens when you recycle it? It's gone. Well, is it, it gone? gone? It doesn't mean no. A classroom where the students have special needs. At Atlas Foundation School, all the kids have autism, a condition characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, and communication difficulties. The school helps kids develop their cognitive skills with specially designed rooms to stimulate sight, sound, and touch in a nurturing environment, in the hopes the kids enter school and the workforce to in turn educate the general public. Autism is, is full of a lot of pride and full of a lot of intelligence uh, that just is getting shared in different ways. All right, let's not run. The first, we're gonna go straight down this way. Alex Siri, who is nonverbal, is a student at Atlas. The prevalence of autism in children in the United States has increased by more than 100% in recent years. It's the fastest growing developmental disability. Globally, it's estimated some 70 million people live with some form of autism, and it's with that in mind that one of the world's most popular children's television series has introduced Julia. Noise! Noise! noise. Uh, the sirens are bothering you? Uh, noise! Noise! For the first time in a decade, Sesame Street introduced a new character to the program, Julia, an autistic child. Uh, hi. Do you shake hands? Oh, uh, well, you know, Julia has autism, so oh. it might take her a little while to get to know you first, that's oh. all. Julia is meant to end the stigma associated with autism. You may know this, but today in the United States, one in 68 children is diagnosed on the autism spectrum. And so this was a, an issue that Sesame Street felt like we really needed to address. But while the cause of the rise in autism remains a mystery, it's hoped that programs like this will help make living with the condition a little easier. Gabriel Ozando, Al Jazeera, New York.